Hello Internet, welcome to the fifth and final video on the subject of Dario Argento's Three Mothers trilogy. The middle three videos, as you might expect, reviews of uh, the three films in the trilogy, Suspiria, Inferno and The Mother of Tears. Uh, the first video is a dramatic recitation, I guess you'd call it. It's the section from Thomas de Quincey's novel where he invents this notion of these uh, three mothers, our ladies of sorrow, he calls them. If there are three uh, fates, three furies, he concocts this notion of three ladies of sorrow. So he starts the whole myth that Argento and his partner Daria Nicolodi ran with with those three movies. And to bookend that, this video is a sort of tie-up of what could have been loose ends, paying uh, no little attention to a film that, between uh, between its making and the release of Mother of Tears, was sort of presented in in a weird kind of way as the unofficial third film in the Three Mothers trilogy, directed by Lucio Cosi, the man who has has some kind of relationship with Dario Argento. I don't know whether he still does, but he certainly used to run the Profondo Rosso shop owned by Argento in Italy that I'd love to visit. But by all accounts, he would <laughs> you, would, you would find this uh, one-time Italian director uh, behind the till, cashing up for you if you wanted to buy stuff. We've come across Cozy before, regular viewers, as one of the uncredited, one of the many uncredited directors of uh, Vampire in Venice. So if you want to go to my playlists and find uh, 80s vampires, you'll find the, us talking there about uh, Vampire in Venice, a bizarre, bizarre movie that's, that's hard to get hold of. This cosy movie is even harder to actually get hold of. But l luckily, the one place you actually can see it is here on YouTube, and I'm going to put uh, a, a, a link to another YouTuber's uh, upload of it down in the description field. It looks like it's uh, copied, uh, all the notes tell me it's copied from the Japanese VHS of this movie. If you want to try and get it on any sort of hard format, you can't. So this is the only way to watch it. Before we get to Luigi Cosi's film though, there was very good information that after straight after Inferno, that Argento and Nicolodi started working on the script for the third part, for the third mother, Meta Lacrimarum, the mother of tears. If you go onto Wikipedia and you search the mother of tears, whoever's produced that article for Wikipedia has given some amazing information about various different script versions, the earliest being what they call the Nicolodi script in the 80s, and they link to an interview with Fangoria magazine from 1984, I believe, so four years after uh, Inferno was released, where they interview uh, Dario Argento and Dario Nicolodi together. They talk about Suspiri and Fang. It's a great, uh, it's a great interview. Find it. It's easy to find. I've just told you how. <laughs> and uh, towards the end of the interview, Nicolodi says, "We've got a script. It'll deal with." The Mother of Tears, we're just putting the finishing touches to it, and uh, she says something like that they need to work out some effects and some just some little details of the script. Probably financing is what they needed to, to sort out. Now, that obviously didn't happen. There's an intriguing extra on uh, the Arrow video release of Inferno. Arrow videos for my uh, US viewers, think of that as the European version of your Screen Factory releases. So real uh, cult back catalogue stuff, jam-packed full of extras. Uh, and one of the extras on that is an interview with Lugio Cosi himself in the Profondo Rosso shop. It's a little, uh, it's a little extra uh, called The Other Mother, where he talks about um, how Daria Nicolodi approached him after she'd split with uh, Dario uh, and after he'd uh, returned to Giallo with Tenebre, she wanted to, to, to work on a project and uh, according to him, 
she wanted to work on on the third mother so she came to him with some ideas that she'd worked up some ideas that she'd worked up with Dario that he was he was uh, reluctant to do he didn't want to do a sequel to Argento's two films uh, perhaps he felt unworthy possibly well correctly let's call a spade a spade uh, let's say respectfully so uh, he uh, worked on the ideas that that she had brought to the table and in a weird <laughs> the, the film that he came out with uh, which was released in 1989 is weirdly meta you know just a little bit before scream this film is more of an homage to the cinema of Argento than a direct sequel. It, it's called, well, it, as with uh, many Italian horror movies uh, through the 70s and 80s, it's got many titles. Uh, you'll find it as The Black Cat. Uh, it's also Demons 6, although it's got absolutely nothing to do with uh, Demons 1 and 2. Argento produced uh, and it was to be called uh, De Profundis from the depths out of the depths which is a nice tie in it's a nice nod to Thomas De, Thomas De Quincey's chapter uh, work is called Suspiria De Profundis a sign from the depths so it's a nice little bookend to Suspiria and a reference to it it goes even further than that it's about a group of uh, a couple of Italian film producers who are currently making a giallo movie called The Black Cat, which is a lot like an Argento giallo with the, the black-gloved uh, killer, who decide that they want to make a story about the third mother. But it's set in our world, if you like. There are, there's, there's conversations in it about how, didn't has, wasn't this already done? Well, no, not, not this one, but there was a movie called Suspiria directed by Dario Argento, which was about the first mother, and this is about, about the third mother, which is called, she's called Lavana all the way through. So it's weirdly metatextual, to, even to the point where whenever Suspiria is mentioned, he, he's nabbed goblins, a, a bit of goblin score for Suspiria, and that just plays whenever Argento or Suspiria is mentioned in this movie. He, he's stolen, I assume stolen, goblins, Goblin's uh, score for it. So it's about a group of people wanting to make a movie about this character called Lavana that they refer to as the Mother of Tears. Uh, and the real Lavana, the real Mother of Tears, doesn't want anyone portraying her on screen. So sort of psychically and witchily attacks the lead actress who is married to one of the producers. And it's it's not good. It's a curiosity. It's a curiosity of a movie. So if you're at all obsessively interested in the history of horror movies, as I am, you, you, you'll you have to watch it just to see what it's all about. It's not a good movie. Uh, it's, it's, it's funny in that there's actually a scene, uh, the, the producers keep referencing uh, the Three Mothers and Suspiria de Profundis uh, uh, as a work by Charles Baudelaire. And I was sitting there, I was watching it thinking, well, no, it's not. They actually meet up about halfway through the movie with someone who is a, a sort of literature historian who basically chews them out and says, look, if you're going to use someone's work, at least get it right. Baudelaire uh, <laughs> translated into French Thomas de Quincey's work. You don't even know where this comes from and you're trying to do this movie about it. At least get it right, guys. Okay? Which is worth a bit of a chuckle. The whole, the whole movie is worth a bit of a chuckle, but it's it's... It's got absolutely nothing, really. It's a bit of fan service. It's got nothing to do with the three months. Even to the point where uh, the chapter in De Quincey's work is called Lavana and Our Ladies of Sorrow. Okay? Uh, Lavana is not one of the three mothers. At the, sorry, at the very end of this interview with uh, Luigi Cosi, uh, there's clips with, uh, with Argento and Dario Nicolodi when they're, when they're asked about this movie. Uh, Argento flat out says, I've never seen it. Uh, and Daria says, it's not a Three Mothers movie. You know, it deals with 
Lavana. We we looked at the, the De Quincey thing, which which was inspiration for me for the for the Three Mothers, and she's separate to the Three Mothers. So we worked and we worked with that, and I didn't like the way it was going, so I left it for him and said, you know, you do it, and and, and he went off and he did what whatever he he did with it. That one little bit of information, that one such in depth knowledge about the specific portion of that book of De Quincey strongly leads me to suspect that, as is hinted at throughout interviews about any of these movies, that it was Daria Nicolodi who brought to Dario this work. And she says that as a story her grandmother told about a ballet school as well. I think she was the starting point for this entire movie trilogy she just she, she knows the source material too well in an interview decades later to say well no Lavana is not one of the three mothers it's not a three mothers project it's got not, absolutely nothing to do with that um honestly hand on heart I can't see Dario giving that much of a fuck not caring that much about the source material I I, I just don't think it's as important to him as it obviously is to her it leads me to believe her when she says that she co-wrote Inferno and Argento screwed her out of a co-writing credit and do you know what <clears throat> I'm just going to leave it there and yeah what's referred to as the Nickelodeon script in Wikipedia somewhere in some alternate universe there was there was the final part of the Three Mothers trilogy that she had some guiding an artistic hand in and what would that vision have looked like potentially as a little Side note, because the movie was eventually called The Black Cat, because the distributors had the rights to some names of some post stories. A year later, uh, in 1990, Dario Argento himself uh, directed segment half of a, uh, the film Two Evil Eyes uh, film. Direct, one section is directed by uh, George Romero, the other section is directed by... Uh, Argento, uh, and they're both based on Edgar Allan Poe short stories, and Argento's, weirdly enough, is an actual adaptation of Poe's The Black Cat, rather than being The Black Cat in name only. And the, the only reason I mention it, not just because of that coincidence, is because until The Mother of Tears came along uh, in 2007, this is the only other apart from the Three Mothers films, work of Argento's that has witches and witchcraft in it. It's not part of the Three Mothers trilogy. It's an excellent adaptation of a Poe short story, one of my absolute all-time favourites. Uh, it stars Harvey Keitel. It's well worth a watch in and of itself. The Romero segment, not so much, but it's been a while since I've seen it. It might be time for a reappraisal. Uh, but because it's got witches in it and witchcraft, I I like to think in my own little head canon that this uh, this black cat, Argento's black cat, actually takes place inside the Three Mothers universe, where we know that witches and witchcraft exist. But that's just me. You can completely disagree with me, and you would be completely right because it's not officially part of it. It's just a fun little game I like to play in my own head. So that leaves us just really with uh, the news that's sort of bubbling up to the surface every few months about a remake of Suspiria, which is an absolutely bad idea, but also potentially a Suspiria TV series, which will not be based on Argento's movies, but will be based on De Quincey's work and will purportedly be a period piece casting De Quincey himself as a sort of artist come supernatural detective and this might be a really nice way of getting a sort of cohesive, solid mythology of the three mothers together. If they're behind the scenes of a TV series, say a mother per season of the TV series, if we're going to wish big and if it does well, that would be something I would be really interested in watching. Sort of Edgar Allan Poe come Penny Dreadful meets De Quincey's three mothers. Why not?